الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبة في الله although we've mentioned this countless times we hope that Allah عز وجل puts it on our scale of good deeds and Allah سبحانه وتعالى blesses with tawfiq to practice what we preach but how the salaf they viewed deeds and righteous deeds and that we know one of the conditions for our deeds to be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that we are sincere to him tabarakahu wa ta'ala Al-Fudayl bin Iyad rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasi'ah and he died in 187 Hijri he said Allah azza wa jal accepts only those deeds which are both correct and sincere. If the deed is done correctly, but not sincerely, it will not be accepted. And if it is sincere, but not correct, it will not be accepted. He was asked, O oh Abu Ali, what is sincere and correct deed? He replied, the sincere deed is the one that is done only for Allah Azza wa Jal. And the correct deed is the one done according to the Sunnah. And you'll find this in Abu Naim's Hilyal Tal Awliya. Ahabba Tifillah. May Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas with the bad ala sunnah al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam this athar of the salaf it shows us the importance of being sincere to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that means sincere in your supplication sincere in your prayer sincere in your fasting sincere in your hajj in your Umrah, sincere in your da'wah Allah Azza wa Jal, sincere in your commanding the good and forbidding the evil, being sincere in speaking about Ahl Bid'ah and defending Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's religion, being sincere in avoiding sin and bid'ah. And being sincere in your mokif, your position regarding the people of desires and the people of sin. And being sincere in your relationships and your treatment of the mu'mineen. Wa ahli iman, wa islam, wa sunnah. All of that requires that we're sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because all of those relationships are dictated with our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or they're dictated by our relationship with Allah azza wa jal and that we are slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all worship must be done to Him and Him alone for His sake, tabarak wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al kareem وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ هُنَفَاءَ هُنَفَاءَ وَيُقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ وَيُتُوَ الزَّكَاةَ وَذَلِكَ دِينُ الْقَيِّمَةِ الله تبارك وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم من سورة البينة he تبارك وتعالى says وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ and they were only commanded that they worship Allah alone. Mukhlisin lahuddin, being sincere. They needed to be sincere. What do they need to be sincere in? In their worship of Allah Azza wa Jal. Mukhlisin lahuddin. For him is the religion. This deen is about Allah. It's about worshiping Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Our dawah is about Allah Tabarak wa Taala. Our dawah is calling to Allah Azza wa Jal. It's not entertainment. It's not just to. Get the masses of followers and the likes and the friends.
وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلْغَ لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهُ مُخْلِسِينَ اللَّهُ الدِّينَ For him is the deen. حُنَفَاء وَيُقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ who, what did these nations before us, what were they? They had to be sincere to, they had to, be sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala too. That was a condition for their deeds to be accepted. Allah never accepted shirk throughout the history of mankind. That was never acceptable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was always the grievi, most egregious sin. So the nations before us were also commanded to be sincere in their worship of Him and Him alone. and to establish the prayer and to pay the zakat so they had to pay a type of zakat as well and they had to establish a type of salat as well always prayer prayer is a pillar of the deen so make sure your prayer is sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make sure that you have ikhlas and as Imam Fudail Ibn Iyad Rahmatullah alayhi rahmatin wasi'ah he mentioned about those two conditions he said that you, your deeds can never be accepted unless they are sincere meaning sincerely directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that they're on the sunnah and that they're in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam we ask Allah azza wa jal to forgive us of our many sins and our many shortcomings and bless us with ikhlas with the bat and bless us to come closer to him and bless us to clean the diseases out of our hearts which prohibit us from reaching our peak and our and excelling in who we want to be and who we need to be. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.